What's up, everyone? Chris from PickDogs.com here with your free Major League Baseball home run prop show for Thursday, June 29th, 2023. Now, just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. It helps us out a ton. And if you're looking for my best bets, the games I love the most, including my daily $19 best bet, head on over to PickDogs.com. Check out the Premium Picks tab at the top of the page. But let's get into the home run prop show for Thursday. We're going to do a recap of the plays we did hit on Wednesday. We hit a handful, and we hit some nice plus money props along the way. And we do have uh, some decent uh, props as well for Thursday's action, despite it being a bit of a smaller card. But before we get into the recap, I want to remind everybody that these plays are not meant to be plays that you dump your whole bankroll into. They're very high risk, high reward. They're just plays that are meant to be there for some fun, some side action, uh, just to have some pizza money or some coffee mon money on the side. But... Um, like I said, nothing to really go too crazy on. Now, you know, I whatever I recommend is if you're going to take plays from this home run prop show and bet on them, I recommend playing them straight, you know, just as single bets. But what I do know is that some people do like to parlay these bets or these uh, these home run props. So if you're going to go that route with these uh, these home run props, I recommend doing a round robin. So basically, you know, if you can do the three leg parlay, say you put five bucks on it, and five bucks is is your unit size or whatever. Then, uh, you know, you put five bucks on three-leg parlay, and then what you do for the round robin is play five bucks on each combination of those two legs in that three-leg parlay. Yes, it's going to drive up the cost of the bet. It's going to take that bet from five bucks to 20. If it's within your means, I recommend doing it, because how many times have we all been screwed over by that one leg of the parlay that fell short? And because we didn't have a safety net, well, the parlay, you know, we got paid nothing. But at least if you have the round robin, and one of the legs goes awry, you still win something. And hey, if you win that three-leg parlay, you also win all the bets that you put on the the uh, the, uh, the bets for uh, the combinations of two as well. So give you an even better payday on those as well. But uh, let's take a look at the plays that we did hit on uh, on Wednesday. And we started things off with the, the matchup between the uh, the Cubs and, um, and the Phillies. And uh, Dansby Swanson coming through for us at plus 600. Great payday there, and then we went to uh, the matchup between the White Sox and the uh, and the Angels. And the White Sox swept the board for us. Luis Robert coming through at plus three twenty, and Eloy Jimenez coming through at plus three sixty for a nice same game parlay there to, uh, to 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 round things out. Like I said, three winners, but hey, still some plus money coming back to us. Can roll some of those profits over into Thursday's action. But before we get into the uh, the action for Thursday. You know, love interacting with you guys. So let me know in the comment section below. Do you like the angle I took on some of these games? Do you not like the angle? Do you have player props of your own? I said drop them in the comment section. You know, sometimes I even go looking in the comment section, seeing what player props you guys have. And I put a couple bucks on them too, because some of those player props you guys have been dropping have been absolute fire. But I ask everyone, if you're going to do that, please drop them in there before the game start. If they're not in there before the game start, they don't help anybody. And we're trying to beat the books as a team. One team, one goal here at Pick Dogs, and that goal every single day is to crush the books, whether it's player props, sides, totals, money lines, spread, whatever. Player props, like home run props, you name it. We're go our goal every day is to get paid, and that's what we're going to do on Thursday, but we need your help to do it. Now, we are going to get into the home run prop action right now, but I will preface it by saying this. I am filming this video at about 5 a.m. Eastern on Thursday, so... I'm doing this in the hopes that we can get you guys as much longevity out of this video as possible and um, give you as much time as possible to get these bets in. There are official plays that I will mention throughout the show that we may not have graphics for, but these are plays that I'm going to put in once prices have been released. There are some games that don't have these prices out as of yet, but getting closer to the first pitch, they will be out. And like I said, if you have uh, if you have enough time to get these bets in, and uh, you, you 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 write them down or, or whatever you want whatever you do, I promise you they will they will be on the board for you uh, as long as we can get them there. But anyways, let's take a look at the home run props that we do have for uh, Thursday's action. I know I made a mess of explaining that, but you guys know what I mean. So we'll, we'll get them in for you. But uh, we start things off with uh, with Salvador Perez of the Royals here at plus three forty. He's the only current Royal that's had any sort of proven success for home runs against Shane Bieber with three of his five career hits against Bieber going for home runs. Now, Bieber, he has allowed four home runs in his last two starts. He's giving up a lot of hard contact this season, an 8.7% barrel rate. So it's going to be Salvador Perez for a home run at plus 340. 
I'm also going to look at Jose Ramirez for the Guardians at plus 450. He homered on Wednesday, and he's hitting 400 with four extra base hits, including a pair of home runs against right-handed pitching in the last two weeks. Now, Zach Greinke starting for the Royals, and while he used to be safe back at home, it's no longer the case. You know, he's allowed a home run in four straight starts, five home runs over that four-start stretch. So give me Jose Ramirez for a home run at plus 450. Uh, now, this is where we're going to start getting into the player props. We don't have graphics for that. I'm going to make sure that I get you guys. These are all official plays. These are plays that I'm going to have money on and bets in on on, uh, on Thursday. We're going to go to this matchup between the Diamondbacks and um, the Diamondbacks and the Rays here. We're going to go with the first one. is going to be Cattell Marte of the Diamondbacks. You know, he's been the arguably the Diamondbacks' hottest hitter. Three, hitting 381 with six home runs. This looks to be a bullpen game for the Rays, and normally I don't love backing homers against bullpen games with so much volatility and who gets the ball in the mound, but Marte too hot to go against. But it's situations like this why I don't normally go with bullpen games or when a starting pitcher hasn't been announced because we don't always have prices on them, and sometimes it doesn't leave a whole lot of time between when this video is released and uh, and you guys getting your bets in to and, and first pitch as well to, to really wait for that price. So... Uh, First play for me, though, will be Cattell Marte. For the Diamondbacks as well, I also like Corbin Carroll. His average has dropped to 208 in the last two weeks. Um, but he, he still has uh, six extra base hits and three home runs. And I also like uh, Christian Walker. He's hitting 380 with 10 extra base hits, four home runs in the last two weeks. Now for the Tampa Bay Rays on the other side, I like Randy Arozarena for a home run. Um, you know, for the Rays, uh, hitting 364 with a pair of home runs in the last two weeks against righties. Brandon fought. He gets the start for the Diamondbacks series. A lot of brutal 14.8% barrel rate this season, along with one of the worst hard hit percentages in all of baseball. Also making his first start in over a month. So I would look at Randy Arozarena. I was also looking at Isaac Paredes for the Rays as well. He's hitting 462 with five extra base hits, including a pair of home runs in the last two weeks against right-handed pitching. But anyways, let's get back into the plays that we do have um, graphics for and prices for. Um, and we're going to go to this matchup between the Angels and the uh, the Chicago White Sox. We're going to go to Mike Trout at plus 310. He's got three home runs in his career off of Lance Lynn. Also hitting 304 with four extra base hits and a pair of home runs in the last two weeks against right-handed pitching. Now Lance Lynn, he has been tough to back this season. He's given up one of the highest home run totals of any starter this season with 19. He's allowed a home run in five of his seven starts and eight over that seven start span. So give me Mike Trout for a home run at plus 310. I'm also going to look at Mike Moustakas at plus 550. He has three home runs and a 278 head-to-head -head batting average against Lance Lynn. Also, Moustakas, you know, looks to be thriving in his new environment, recently traded to the, Angel, uh, to the Angels. So give me uh, Mike Moustakas for a home run at plus 550. And I'm also going to look at Shohei Otani. Surprise, surprise, at plus 265. He, but he has owned Lance Lynn in his career, hitting 476 against Lynn with three home runs. Otani also hitting 321 with five home runs against right-handed pitching in the last two weeks. It's going to be Shohei Otani at plus 265. Switch dugouts are going to go with a couple of White Sox here. I'm going to look at Luis Robert at plus 400. You can see he's hit a home run in four of his last five games. He homered for us on Wednesday. I'm going back to him here. It's the, uh, the White Sox' best bat against left-handed pitching. In the last two weeks against lefties, Robert hitting 286. With three home runs, Patrick Sandoval starting for the Angels here. He's allowed a home run in back-to-back -back home starts. So I'm going to take Luis Robert at plus 400. I'm also going to look at Andrew Vaughn for a home run at plus 550. Now he's hitting fairly well against lefties himself, batting 294 with a pair of home runs in the last two weeks against left-handed pitching. So give me Andrew Vaughn for a home run at plus 550. Now I'm going to go to this matchup between the, uh, the Brewers and the Mets. I'm going to look at Christian Yelich for a home run. At plus 400. Now, Max Scherzer, he's allowed three home runs in his first start against the Brewers this season. And while Yelich wasn't one of those pitch, uh, players to get a homer off of uh, Scherzer, I think he could get to him here. He's hitting th Yelich hitting 353 with five extra base hits in the last two weeks against righties. Also has three career home runs off of Scherzer, as well as five extra base hits. So, uh, so give me Christian Yelich for a home run at plus 400. I'm also going to look at Joey Weimer for a home run here for the Brewers at plus 600. He has three home runs against righties in the last two weeks. And of the 12 home runs that Scherzer has allowed this season, nine have come against right-handed batters. It's going to be Joey Weimer for a home run at plus 600. I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to look to the, to the Mets dugout here. I'm going to look at uh, three different Mets here. 
First one I'm going to look at is Brandon Nimmo at plus 500. He has four home runs and a 265 batting average in the last two weeks against right-handed pitching. Adrian Hauser, he hasn't allowed a ton of um, by way of home runs, but he has still been getting rocked as of late. Nimmo in fine form to tag uh, to tag Hauser here as well. So give me Brandon Nimmo for a homer at uh, plus 500. I'm also going to look at uh, Francisco Lindor at uh, at plus 390. He's hitting 323 with six extra base hits. Three home runs in the last two weeks against right-handed pitching. So uh, I'm going to take Francisco Lindor at plus 390. And I'm also going to look at Daniel Vogelbach here at plus 550. He's hitting 290 with three home runs against righties in the last two weeks. It's going to be Daniel Vogelbach for a home run at uh, plus 550. Now here's another play that I didn't, I wasn't able to get a price on at the time that we were recording this video. But I do like Yiner Diaz for the Houston Astros at... Uh, at a, probably at a nice price. You know, he's hit four home runs, six extra base hits in total in the last two weeks against right-handed pitching. Adam Wainwright, he's been getting torched all year long for the Cardinals. And the Astros have been hitting righties well in the last little bit, especially Diaz. Wainwright's allowed five home runs in his last three starts. He's given up two home runs in back-to-back -back outings. So give me uh, give me Yiner Diaz for a home run when you can find a price. Now, I also wanted to back some Cardinals against J.P. France, who has allowed a home run in six of his last seven starts and eight home runs over that span. But nothing from a power standpoint really stood out for me here. A bunch of guys for the Cardinals hitting for solid averages, but no real ho solid home run totals to speak of. Maybe that means someone's due. Um, let me know in the comments section if you're backing any Cardinals in that game or any Astros for that matter that maybe I might have uh, might have left off my sheet. But um before we get into our last couple of home run prop games for Thursday's action, I just want to remind everybody, obviously the purpose of this betting, excuse me, this show is to give you guys free home run prop winners, but it's also to highlight the betting tools at Pick Dogs and Sports Chat Place and what these tools do for you. They do the heavy lifting in terms of player props to show you what the player prop is, how often it's hitting, whether it's a five game sample size, 10 game size, you know, following a win, following a loss, you know, home games, away games, just the, the season as a whole. They take that and they show you how often the player prop is hitting. And they also show you which sports book is giving you the best possible price. Now, the nice thing is, is if you're not, um, you know, you don't have an account with that uh, sports book that's giving you the best price. You click on that price. It takes you there. You sign up. You get a sports book bonus offer on us if you're a new customer. And you also get to play that best possible price while adding to your advantage over the books that they can't take away from you, which is your ability to shop lines and find the best possible number. And, you know, there's other tools at Pick Dogs and Sports Chat Place with these betting tools. There's streak tools. If you like betting hot and cold streaks, there's uh, there's parlay builders. If you're a parlay better, there's multiple parlay builders. Profitable teams, profitable angles, profitable underdogs. You name it, the list goes on and on. Probably have a betting tool there for, 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 for one and all. It's definitely you know a great tool to have. So make sure that you're going over to Pick Dogs and Sports Chat Place .com, checking out these betting tools and keeping them in your back pocket and using them as an asset when you're making your best bets for the day's action. Well, let's get back into the home run prop action for uh, Thursday. Only got a couple more games to look at. One we're going to look at here is this matchup between the uh, the Cubs and the Phillies. And I'm going to go with Ian Happ for a home run at plus 500. He's hitting 308 with a pair of home runs and six extra base hits in the last two weeks against right-handed pitching. Now, Taiwan Walker going for Philadelphia here. He's been solid as of late, but he has gone against weak competition. And of his 11 homers allowed this season, seven have come on the road. I think Hap is the most likely candidate to get to Taiwan Walker here. So give me Ian Hap for a home run at plus 500. I'm also going to look at Brandon Marsh for a home run for the Phillies at plus 550. He's hitting 444 with six, six extra base hits, including a pair of home runs in the last two weeks against righties. Now, Kyle Hendricks doesn't give up a ton of long balls, but in Marsh's current form, along with the price, or excuse me, along with the fact that we always seem to get value prices with him, like plus 550, I think it's worth looking at here. So, going to be Brandon Marsh for a homer at plus 550. And we're going to go to this final game, the, uh, the matchup between the Dodgers and the Rockies. And the first one we're going to look at here is J.D. Martinez at, uh, at plus 290. He has two home runs at Coors Field already this season. Chase Anderson, he's fallen and can't get up. You know, what once looked like a promising start to the year for Anderson has seen him allow a home run in six straight starts, 11 home runs over that span. I think that Martinez adds to his tally here at Anderson's expense. It's going to be J.D. Martinez at plus 290. 
I'm also going to look at Mookie Betts for a home run at plus 295. He went yard on Wednesday, has three home runs against right-handed pitching in the last two weeks. We always seem to get decent value on bets. Today, maybe not so much, plus 295, but hey, I'm not going to sneeze at nearly 3-1 to one on my money. So I think I'm going to ride him here, give me Mookie Betts at plus 295. I'm also going to look at a couple of Rockies to close things out. First, one I'm going to look at is Ryan McMahon at plus 340. He's hitting 360 with a pair of home runs in the last two weeks against right-handed pitching. Emmett Sheehan, you know, he's been solid in each of his first two starts, but he did just allow a pair of home runs in his last start, and it is his first outing of his career at Coors Field, which could be tough for a rookie pitcher. So give me Ryan McMahon for a home run at plus 340. And around things, I'm going to look at Nolan Jones at plus 390. He's hitting 292 with four extra base hits, including a home run in the last two weeks against right-handed pitching. It's going to be Nolan Jones for a home run at plus 390 to round things out. But let's do a quick recap of the plays that we did give out for um, Thursday's action. We start things off with Salvador Perez at plus 340. And we also went with, uh, that was for the Royals. For the Guardians, we went with Jose Ramirez at plus 450. For the Diamondbacks and Rays, you know, we went with a few of them. If you want to scroll back to hear my reasoning on them, um, definitely to check it out near the beginning of the video. But for the Coles notes, uh, Catal Marte, Corbin Carroll, Christian Walker for the D-backs. Uh, Randy Rose, Reina, Isaac Paredes for the uh, the Rays. For the uh, LA Angels, went with Mike Trout at plus 310. Mike Moustakis at plus 550. And Shohei Otani at plus 265. For the White Sox, went with Luis Robert at plus 400. And Andrew Vaughn at plus 550. For the Brewers, we went with Christian Yelich at plus 400. And Joey Weimer at plus 600. For the Mets, who went with Brandon Nimmo at plus 500. Francisco Lindor at plus 390. And Daniel Vogelbach at plus 550. Uh, also for the Astros, went with Yiner Diaz. Again, if you want to hear my thoughts on that one, just didn't have a price on him at the time. But uh, you can hear my thoughts on Diaz. Scroll back just a little bit. Um, we also got Ian Happ for a home run at plus 500 for the Cubs. For the Phillies, Brandon Marsh at plus 550. And from this Rockies-Dodgers matchup for the Dodgers, we're going to go with J.D. Martinez at plus 290. Mookie Betts at plus 295. And for the Rockies, Ryan McMahon at plus 340. And Nolan Jones at plus 390. But thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate each and every one of you. Up over 133,000 subscribers here on our YouTube channel. Couldn't have done it without your guys' love and support. So if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel. Smash that thumbs up. It really helps us out a ton. Let's us know that you guys like what we're doing. It lets me know that you guys like this home run prop content. And um, also make sure you have notifications turned on. Sometimes, you know, when we do have these... Uh, these um, early slates of baseball i try to get these videos out as early as possible sometimes it's just not possible and i want to be able to at least put the put the best possible most updated content out for you guys so sometimes it only leaves a few hours between when the video is released and first pitch so if you have notifications turned on you get notified as soon as the video drops you can check out the content get the picks and then uh, go place your bets right away and uh that's some of the benefits to just having those notifications turned on also, if you're looking for my best bets, again, the games that I am the most confident in, head on over to Pick Dogs Premium. And while you're at Pick Dogs and Sports Chat Place, check out our betting tools. They are 100% free. They are there for you to use. They are the best betting tools in the business, and you're not going to find betting tools like that anywhere. And even if you did find anything close, you're probably not going to find them for 100% free. Like we're giving them to you over at Pick Dogs. Like I said, they are the best betting tools in the business. Definitely an asset you want to have, a tool you want to have on your belt when you're making your best bets for the day's action. They said they will do the heavy lifting for you, and I promise you, they will make you a ton of money. But thank you so much for watching. Let's crush the books on Thursday.